Hello, my name is Harper Hera, and this video is going to be my review on the newer indie movie release of Didi. The movie Didi is a coming of age movie of the transition between middle to high school, and the main character is a Taiwanese boy who lives with his mother, his sister, and his grandma. Um, his name is Chris, but he goes by Didi with his family. All of his family call him the nickname Didi. This movie mainly focuses on Chris and how he navigates relationships and just interactions with people. And it shows how difficult and awkward they can be, as well as just trying to find your place, trying to fit in, because he doesn't as it shows in the film, he doesn't exactly know where he fits in and he's trying to be cool. Like, he acts a certain way so that people will like him, but it, it never goes well. It never goes well in the movie and it happens multiple times. Um, it just shows a teenage boy trying to figure out where he places and how to not be so awkward. It's a, it's a little, there's a many, many scenes where you're just like, oh. <sighs> Ooh, but yeah it's a very it's there's a lot of parts where that are really relatable now like you'll watch them and you'll be like ooh, like i've had a moment like that where you're just like super embarrassed and you're like, what's that i shouldn't have done that I shouldn't have done that what's that brother um, yeah and it just shows his relationship with his friends his family um how he navigates romantic interactions and the movie shows a lot of that if you couldn't tell this is my i'm recording this intro uh on halloween so this is because this video is also going to be released around halloween so i'm a hello kitty if you couldn't tell yes i hope y'all had an amazing hello weekend halloween yeah uh let's get into the video Hello, my name is Harper Hera, and I am doing newer indie movie reviews, um, more like commentary kind of style videos. I am doing a review on the movie Dee Dee that was released this year, July 26th, and um, I will be going over a lot of opinionated views. This is more of a commentary video, um, nothing that is exactly factual but very open-ended discussion just thoughts and opinions yeah yeah that's i will be because these are my own personal reviews and own personal thoughts on the film and other films i will be reviewing in the future let's get started i guess uh dd is just such a heartbreaking awkward family friendly well not family friendly i didn't say that i didn't say that um it is very it's a very heart-wrenching it has a lot of cringe it's very relatable and yet it's supposed to be based in 2008 it's able to relate to a lot of modern mindsets such as teenagers and yet is able to be based in such a more in su such a long time ago but so many current viewers are able to relate to it like i was like sobbing during so many scenes during this movie it was insane it was insane um yeah it was oh <gasps> yes very very gut-wrenching there's just so many relatable things because it is a chinese family an immigrant family i am personally second generation i am half i am mixed i am Ooh. yes um so it is very relatable in a lot of ways and i think many many um immigrant non-immigrant families can relate to this movie because it shows such a raw part of di family dynamics and honestly everyday life because it is not all peaches and rainbows not all peaches and rainbows guys whatsoever one of the biggest i think uh scenes that shows the dynamic between each family member and just how this family um 
arranges itself is in the first family dinner scene. It is shown, um, Chris has his hood on, he is uninterested, he's being an angsty teenager like most of us are, um, ignoring the family, um, just sitting in silence, being all bratty, kind of, kind of angry with, for no good reason. And it's opening with his nai-nai, his grandma, telling him, oh, you need to eat, you need to eat more, you're gonna be all bones, and, um, the mom interrupting nai-nai and going, uh, like, he can grab his own food. You don't need to baby him. Like, he can get his own food. And and Nai Nai is immediately very, very high-strung and starts, like, yelling at the mom and saying, um, if you don't, if you don't feed him, you're, this boy's gonna just be nothing but bones. He's gonna, like, he's gonna be nothing but bones if I didn't feed him. Da -da -da -da. And he, she is just so passionate in this aggravating tone like i was getting heated while watching this and i could not stand it this um nana like she's coming from a place of love and she loves her he, she loves her grandson she wants him to eat she wants him to be healthy she wants to be happy and healthy and well fed but she is immediately attacking the mother for not being able to properly feed her son when he's 15 he can serve himself he can serve himself. And it, I, that is just seems to be a very common thing. Something I should also establish is that this grandma, Nai Nai, is the mother-in-law, is not related to the mother by blood, is the mother, is the, he is Chris's father's mom, not related by blood to the mom at all. And so she is basically showing the stereotype among many families, um, I gotta say, there are so many amazing, amazing scenes in this movie. Um, this whole movie is good. I mean, that's why it's got, what, like a 90-something on Rotten Tomatoes? It's so, it's just too good. It's too good. Um, it's got a 96 on Rotten Tomatoes and 92% um, percent on viewership, like, of, uh, viewer ratings. And it's, that me it's got, it's good. It's good. It's just... That is factual based off rating, based off viewership. Um, and I believe that if you are looking for a movie that will make you cry, make you think about your family, make you love your family and appreciate your family and appreciate your life, appreciate all the awkward moments, all the like really like embarrassing like the stuff that keeps you up at night when you're trying to sleep and you feel those moments of secondhand embarrassment like and you're like <gasps> and you can't go to bed after that um those moments are so key to this film and i think that if you're looking for something that you want to watch that's relatable and if you really enjoy like i do um independent films uh then I really suggest Dee Dee. I really, really suggest it. I gotta say, the most important scene of this film is gotta be, uh, sorry about that. Um, there's a scene near the end of the movie after a big old conflict happens. This is a, probably a spoiler. So if you don't wanna hear it, like don't listen to it, um, skip it. It shows such a wall between Chris and his mother because there's a big conflict that happens, basically the climax of the movie. And afterward, they're in the car. She's strictly speaking Mandarin and he's strictly speaking English. And I think this shows such a divide between them that they aren't able to quite understand each other. And you feel so much for the mother in this scene. She's just trying to be like, why would you do this? Like, what, you cannot be doing this. Like, this is not okay. And I agree with the mother, like, you cannot be doing that. He was like, well, the other guy started it. And she was just like, that doesn't mean you can do that. It's so, like, she, they're yelling, they're yelling at each other and it just gets more and more intense. And he's screaming at her. He is calling her names and he says so many things. I believe were just spur the moment he did not really mean them because he says 
you're just a failed artist what are you like i'm not the pathetic one you're the pathetic one you're a failed artist you are pathetic you i hate you you suck and he's like screaming at this point neither of them meant what they said in this situation but they both said them and she was like if i i never wanted this what if i didn't have you if i didn't have vivian like my life would have been so much better and he was just like oh so i'm the failure like you're just a washed up failed artist um you're a failure you don't do anything dad's off in taiwan doing like making all the money while you sit at home and cook and make your little cloud drawings and it was so just like like you just gotta like feel for the mom because she is just trying she is trying her best to raise a teenage boy as well as hold together that household she's trying to raise this teenage boy going to high school who is angsty and angry and kind of an a-hole a boy hole an a-hole and then having to deal with her mother-in-law who is not con constantly criticizing her and then her daughter is going off to college there's so much going on within their lives and she's just trying you know, trying to hold it together but then on the other hand the son is trying to figure out who he is he feels like he's a failure he feels like he's not good enough because he's not the smartest because he needs tutoring um because he likes to skate and his mom like he feels ashamed because he thinks his mother is ashamed of him because he's not the stereotypically like smart achievement asian kid she doesn't brag about him or anything and he feels a little bit like a failure because of it and then at this point of his mo of the movie he basically has no friends he has lost all his friends because of minor behaviors that really aren't that serious and he could simply just if he apologized things could be better and he is just like he doesn't realize how his action he is not the victim in this situation kind of he just, but you just feel for him because he feels like a failure he doesn't have any friends he's not smart he th thinks his mom is ashamed of it he thinks his mother is ashamed of him so you feel for you feel for the boy you feel for the mother and you just the you see such a divide because of the language because of the way they talk to each other and it's such a short scene and there's so much in it and you just after i'm gonna be so vulnerable not a little vulnerable i'm just being honest as soon as that scene the intensity went down i started like almost hyperventilating like i felt the tears coming i had to like brace myself because i was like oh like i held my breath i think during that scene it was so much um and it ended because it got so intense and they kept getting in each other's spaces and yelling and then you see like a very very quick just the mom raises her hand at him she doesn't hit him she immediately hesitates she you see him flinch immediately stop you see him stop yelling you see her raise her hand they both stop you see her him visibly scared and you see her scared of herself you see her stop and like hype like she looks concerned she looks scared of herself and this scene was just so after that he ran out of the car he just ran and ran and ran he ran away but the scene of him running in the street was so like the feeling of just trying to forget everything that's going on right then right there just get it out get it out with of your system and i'm gonna have to cut myself off be right there because this is I, mean, I could go on for hours i tried to record this earlier and it was 45 minutes so i'm trying to shorten it by not because i made a long list of notes i i wanted to go through like every single scene but i can't um, because that would just be basically what's the point of watching the movie um, this would be boring as well as what would it leave for you to want to learn from the movie anyways again the movie is Dee Dee 
D-I-D-I, released during this summer, July 26, 2024. It was directed by Sean Wang, um, distributed by Focus Features. Pretty good movie. Um, yeah. Anyways, those are my thoughts, and if you like them, thanks. Uh, if you don't, it's it's okay. You don't have to. Uh, these are just my thoughts, and I'd like to share them. Uh, I hope many others would like to see my opinions in the future. Uh, peace out. Yay!